Yes, hello everyone. Uh, this is lecture seven on computer networks. So in the previous lecture, we were discussing about the window size. Okay, so maximum window size should be, we have used the word maximum. Okay, and here we have used the word minimum. Minimum of one plus two a comma two power n. So n was the number of uh, overhead bits. So in the previous lecture, we have uh, given you proof that if 2 power n is uh, less than 1 plus 2a, then obviously we have to take minimum of 1 plus 2a comma 2 power n. Why? Because uh, your uh, sequence number will be wrapped around, okay, and in this 0 and in this 0, uh, receiver will not be able to differentiate, okay. So actually, this is your frame number, this is your first frame, this is your 17th frame, and first and 17th uh, sequence number are same. So, it uh, receiver might not be able to differentiate between them. So, that was very obvious and very easy to understand the things. Now, question arises, what if 1 plus 2a is less than 2 power n? Okay. So, for example, 1 plus 2a is coming to be 21. We have seen in the previous lecture only. And uh, overhead bits allowed are 6 bits. That means 64. Uh, you can say 2 plus 6. That means 64 is the uh, sequence number. So, from 0 to 63, we can give the sequence number. But your uh, uh, 1 plus 2a is coming to be 21. So then why window should be 21? Why it cannot be 63? So let me give you uh, answer for that question. So let me jump to the next slide. So the basically uh, what we are doing is uh, in sliding window protocol SWP, uh, we have a window, okay, or you can say buffer. In that buffer, frames are stored. And all these frames will be sent before receiving acknowledgement. For example, window is at say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let us suppose window size is 5. I am assuming, uh, roughly I am assuming window size is 5. So fra frame number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are there. So they all will be sent before receiving acknowledgement from the receiver. Okay, so they all will be sent. Now assume ACK uh, for, for packet number 1 came, ACK 1 came. That means what? This, uh, this frame number 1 has received by receiver. So since it has received by receiver, so window will slide one position to the right like this. And now sixth frame can be sent. Are you getting it? That's why we are calling it a sliding window protocol. So why we are calling it a sliding window protocol? For example, let me write it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 frames sender wants to send. And window size is say 5. So initially it will be at 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now if receiver has received one frame, then it will send the acknowledgement. After receiving acknowledgement, window will slide one position to the right. That means it will come here okay or, or let me write it uh, no problem one two three four five then i will draw it again two three four, five six now when another acknowledgement will come then it will slide one position to the right that means like this when another acknowledgement come then it will slide one position to the right like this and so on okay so now you may argue sir why it is sliding it is sliding just because see one two three four five they have been sent but not yet acknowledged Okay, we have said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frame and they are not yet acknowledged. So, we have to maintain copy of these frames. Now, if acknowledgement for the first frame has come, then that means what? We do not need to maintain its copy. It has been received properly. So, window will slide one position to the right like this. Okay, now since it is sliding, that's why we are calling it a sliding window protocol. Okay, sliding window protocol. Why are we calling it a sliding window protocol? Because it is sliding one by one. Okay. So I think you have got the point. So now uh, say AC, a, a, a for acknowledgement for frame number two has come into the uh, come to the uh, sender. Then obviously window will slide one position to the right and then three, four, uh, five, six and seven. Okay. So like this three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now, so directly and directly this means that now you are maintaining copy for the frame three, four, five, six, seven. That's it you have not maintained copy for 1 and 2. Are you getting it? And see now, now a very beautiful point is coming to my mind. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have maintained the copy because you have sent them, but you have not acknowledged them. So 1 and 2 are those frames which you have sent as well as acknowledged. And then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. These are the frames which you cannot send because they are not in the window. So window has divided our, you can say, set of frames into three parts. First part is which has been sent as well as acknowledged. Sent and acknowledged. They are sent but not acknowledged. 
okay and they are uh, not sent not acknowledged not sent not acknowledged i think you have got the point okay so basically what i want to see is in case of sliding window uh, if window is at uh, these five frames then you have to maintain copy of these five frames only you need not maintain copy of these frame because they have already sent and as well as acknowledged so now try to answer this question if i am saying 1 plus 2a 1 plus 2a was what maximum number of frames that can be sent before receiving acknowledgement and these were used for efficiency to be 100% okay efficiency cannot be more than 100% so these are the maximum number of frames which can be sent before receiving acknowledgement so for example if this is coming to be 21 that means what 21 frames you can send before receiving acknowledgement the moment you try to send the 22nd frame acknowledgement for the first frame has been received by you now since you have received acknowledgement for the first frame now window will slide one position to the right so directly indirectly 21 frames only are you getting it yes sir <clears throat> so so what is the basic point here if you want to visualize for example 1 plus 2a is coming to be 5 okay and your uh, say n number of overhead bits are say 3 so, so so you can give sequence number from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on like this so now 1 plus 2a is 5 and number of bits overhead are 3 so you you will take window size to be minimum of 1 plus 2a and 2 power 3 5 comma 2 power 3 so it comes out to be 5 only so now uh, let me see why we are taking 5 1 2 3 4 5 this is a uh, okay so uh, here we have this window so now the moment you finish the uh, uh, sending frame number 4 you have received ack 0 i am not saying that your concept is saying that because efficiency 100% means you will send 1 plus 2a frames and the moment you have sent 1 plus 2a frame that means sender was busy entire time sender was busy are you able to get it now sender and receiver so this is send one frame and here acknowledgement will come so tt plus 2tp time in tt plus 2tp time uh, 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 you can say uh, in tt time sender has sent one frame and 2tp time is it has to wait so now uh, in 2tp time also it is not waiting it is keep on sending the frames so now it is keep on sending the frame and when tt plus 2tp time expire acknowledgement for the first frame has been received by sender since acknowledgement has been received so window will have to slide one position to the right because now you need not maintain the copy of this frame so obviously five okay so if you want to maintain window size of six also it will be no use because uh, you have received the acknowledgement for the frames respective frames so in the left hand side okay so window size should be minimum of 5 comma 2 uh, power 3 that means 5 only okay so i hope you have got the point please let me know if uh, anybody is having any doubt here okay so th that was the basic point that uh, window should be minimum and we i and i have told you properly why we are calling it a sliding window protocol because it is sliding one position to the right okay so why we are calling it a sliding window protocol because window will slide window will slide one position to the right window will slide one position to the right after receiving ack after receiving ack okay so uh, slide a uh, window will slide now that's why we are calling it a sliding window protocol okay and one more uh, thing i want to uh, emphasize here i have told you that window has divided uh, your entire frames into three parts sent and acknowledged okay sent but not acknowledged and not sent and not acknowledged okay now we can think like this also now this is not guaranteed that window is at three four five six seven now if we say that six and seven these frames are coming from network layer okay let me tell you that in the next slide take snapshot okay. done okay so now we can imagine that uh, window is here say one two three okay what was the scenario in the previous slide three four five six seven okay one two three four five six seven and eight nine ten eleven dot 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 like this so now i will say that these six and seven frame they are coming from where network layer so network layer has not provided them even though window size is five you can send five frames at a time but these frames have not come yet from the network layer 
So obviously you have to send three frames only. So now I can say uh, this window has divided your frames into four parts. What is first part is sent and ACK. Sent and ACK. Okay. So you have sent them and ACK has been received. So these are sent but no ACK. And these are what they can be sent. They can be sent. You can send them, but we are not sending them because they are not available. Can be sent, but not yet available. And these can't be sent because they are outside the window. They can't be sent. Okay. So four parts, we can think that uh, window has divided our total frames into four parts. Okay. Window or buffer. So first part is sent and acknowledged, sent but not acknowledged. These are uh, can be sent but not yet available and these are they can't be sent because they are outside the window. So the frames which are outside the window, they can never be sent. Okay. Yeah. And so they can ask such question. The frames which are to the left of the window, they are what they are. They have been sent and acknowledged also. So no need to maintain copy of them. So frames which are in the window, you have to maintain copy. Yes, we have to maintain copy of the frames which are in the window. Okay, frames which are to the right, uh, frames which are to the right of the window, they have not been sent yet. Okay, because uh, they are outside the window. Okay, so uh, you have to ma maintain copy of all the frames in window. Maintain copy of all frames in window. Yeah, so now it is completed. You can take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Okay. So now uh, I will uh, solve few questions. Okay, so the, uh, but just to summarize so that we get more clarity in the summary, we will write few points. What is the first point? So maximum efficiency. Okay, to get maximum efficiency, window size window size must be what one plus two a okay we have proved it in the previous lecture so how many sequence numbers are needed sequence number needed are obviously one plus two a okay at least you should need one plus two a you can take more also but at least you should take like this so sequence number at least at least sequence number should be one plus two a to get maximum efficiency because if sequence numbers are less then obviously we will get uh, that thing now window size will be minimum of one plus two and a sequence number okay and the number of bits number of bits in header of frame for sequence number that will be log base 2 sn ceiling function Okay, this thing all uh, I have already told you. So SN is 1 plus 2A minimum. So I will take log base to 1 plus 2A ceiling function like this. Okay, so now you can take snapshot of this. I will jump to the next slide and I will solve few questions on this. Done? Okay, so question is, let us assume transmission time is say 1 second propagation time is say five second i have just taken these numbers so that uh, we can solve question easily okay so our main uh, uh, main concentration is on concepts not on solving numericals or do calculations and so on that's why i have taken uh, these basic numbers so transmission time is one second propagation time is five second so question number one is uh, window size okay window size to achieve maximum efficiency achieve maximum efficiency that will be 1 plus 2a that will be 1 plus 2 into tp 5 upon uh, tt that is 1 so it comes out to be 11 okay question number one answer is 11 very simple uh, uh, please let me know if anybody is having any doubt okay so i am assuming yeah next question is how many sequence numbers are needed How many sequence number? Obviously, 11 only. Okay, I have told you. Uh, sequence number at least is 1 plus 2a. So, I will take this 11. Sequence number needed are 11. So, how many bits of overhead? How many bits of overhead? How many bits in header as overhead? How many bits in header? So, log base to 11 
ceiling function and it comes out to be 4. We already know this. Okay. So, question number 4. Now, they are saying if header allowed only 3 bit overhead, in, we need 4 bit overhead. Na? So, in header of each frame, we need 4 bit overhead. Now, if I am saying if header allow only 3 bit overhead, then efficiency. That is again very simple question. If only 3 bit overhead is allowed, so uh, that means what? Uh, window size? Window size will be what? Minimum of 1 plus 2a comma 2 power n. So, 1 plus 2a comma n, uh, uh, 3 bits na, so 8. Okay, so and 1 plus 2a, I think uh, I should do it properly. 1 plus 2a is coming to be 11. Okay, and 2 power 3, 3 bit overhead, that means 8. So minimum of 11, 8 will be 8 only. So window size will be 8. But if we need 100% efficiency, then it should be 11. So what should be now efficiency? Efficiency will be 8 upon 11. Okay, so that is what your actual window size and that is what your maximum window size, maximum. So window size upon maximum, you will get the answer that is 8 upon 11. Yes, please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty here. Understood, sir. Okay. Yeah, so now take snapshot, I will jump to the next slide. Okay, so now we will try to answer few gate questions. So, I am not writing the years, okay, you can uh, see, see uh, you, you just google them out, you will get. Your voice is lost. Yes, my screen is visible now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is gate 2003 question. Okay, so what they are saying is host A is sending data to host B over full duplex link. So they are talking about full duplex link. Okay, so A and B are you? Mm -hmm. oh, is happening? Lost yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, there is a sound which comes that, and I come to know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, uh, 2003 question. So, they are saying is host A is sending data to host B over a full duplex link. A and B are using sliding window protocol for flow control. So, you you, sh you should know this sliding window protocol. The moment you see this word, uh, everything should come to your mind about uh, sliding window protocol. Okay. Now, the sender and receiver window size are 5 packet each. So, no need to uh, see about uh, receiver window and so on. It is just a simple concept. So, we will consider it on send sender side. Sender window side is uh, sender window size is five five packets each okay now data packets sent only from a to b uh, are all 1000 byte long so now you have got idea also from here also that data packets are sent only from a to b so why they are showing a receiver window size and so on it is not required okay so they are just try, trying to confuse you and so on so you just concentrate on sender window size that is five packets so sender will send five packet at once and then it will wait for acknowledgement that is the basic scenario here so window size is five packets okay now data packets are uh, sending from a to b uh, and are of 1000 byte long okay so packet size packet size is given to us as 1000 bytes okay uh, and the transmission time for such a packet is 50 microseconds so tp is 50 microsecond okay acknowledgement packets sent only from b to a are very small and require negligible transmission time so we have got the point uh, we will take acknowledgement size negligible okay then the propagation uh, over the link is 200 microseconds so this is for sender side so uh, i have told you they will they will try to make fancy fancy numerical no no need to worry so they have given uh, different receiver uh, tp no problem i will take it as 200 
माइक्रो सर्किट आई गिवन यू एक्साम्पल ना फ्रॉम ए टू बी यू आर टेकिंग वन आवर बट फ्रॉम बी टू यू आर टेकिंग टू आवर सो दैट इज द बेसिक सिनेरियो सो फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी माइक्रो सेकंड वन बी डिले फ्रॉम सेंडर टू रिसीवर बट फ्रॉम रिसीवर टू सेंडर इट इज टू हंड्रेड नो प्रॉब्लम आई विल टेक दैट ओके नाउ वट इज द मैक्सिम अचीवेबल थ्रो पुट इन दिस कम्युनिकेशन सो दे वॉन्ट अस टू फाइंड मैक्सिम अचीवेबल थ्रो पुट ओके सो हाउ वी विल फाइंड दैट आउट लेट मी टेल यू दैट थिंग सो एफिशियंसी वट इज द थ्रो पुट वट इज थ्रो पुट फॉर्मुला Throughput is nothing but your efficiency multiplied by bandwidth. So now, what is the efficiency here? We have to tell that. So uh, how to find the efficiency? Efficiency will be so. Uh, how many packets are sent? Five packets are sent. Okay. So five. Uh, so five into one thousand. Okay. Or and let, let let me tell you that thing. So how we will uh, try to find this efficiency? Efficiency will be C for hundred uh, percent efficiency means one plus two a packet. Okay. So If we are sending say n packets, so then what will be the efficiency n upon one plus two? I think in the previous lecture itself I have told you how to find the efficiency. Efficiency is n upon one plus two, where n is the window size. Okay, so window size upon one plus two. If you do not uh, get this, then I can simply say like this: uh, If we have hundred percent efficiency, then window size is one plus two. Okay, so one plus two a upon one plus two a, that is nothing but your one. That is your hundred percent. Okay, so this is what we are sending, and this is what which is expected. That means ideal scenario is one plus two a. So, and this is what which you are sending. So, we are getting hundred percent efficiency. Now, you are sending only uh, n packets. So, window size is n. So, you will say n upon one plus two a. That is your efficiency. So, n is what five packets you are sending. So, five upon one plus two a. Two into a. A is what TP upon TT. So, TP is what. Uh, okay, and I should not write this way. Why? Because Uh, uh, tp is different so i will say like this tp plus tt plus tp so tp is for uh, sender side tp and then tt so this is the total time and this is what your uh, tp time that is for your uh, for rec from receiver side okay yeah so what we are sending so uh, i will simply say hmm 5 upon 1 plus One plus, uh, rather TP is what? TP is fifty, na? Fifty plus TT. TT will be message size upon bandwidth. So what is the message size here? Hmm. Uh, what is the message size here? One thousand bytes. So uh, and bandwidth. That is not given to us. So how do we do this thing? Okay, so just a second. Oops. I have done a mistake here. Uh, what we have done? Uh, data packets are sent only from A to B and are one thousand byte long. And transmission time for such packet is fifty microsecond. I have said UTP. No, it is transmission time. No, transmission time for such packet is fifty microsecond. So from here we can calculate the bandwidth. Okay, I have done actually wrong thing. So we have to do it again. Let me do it again. No problem. So see this. This is two thousand three question, and what they are saying: host A is sending, uh, host A is sending data to host B in full duplex link. A and B are using sliding window protocol for flow control. The send and receiver window size are five packet each. So window size is given to us as five five packets. Okay. Now data packets are sent only from A to B, one thousand byte long. So packet size is given to us as one thousand bytes. And transmission time. See this. I have uh, misunderstood it. It was not propagation time. It is transmission time for such a packet is fifty microseconds. So transmission time is given to us as fifty into ten to the power minus six seconds. Okay. So and now we know that transmission time is nothing but message size upon bandwidth. Okay. So message size is one thousand bytes. So one thousand into eight. Okay. Bits, uh, so that we get bits. Oh, okay, no need to worry. We we can get in bytes also. No need to worry. So one uh, thousand divided by bandwidth, and transmission time is coming to be what fifty into ten to the power minus six. Okay, so bandwidth will be what bandwidth will be one 
1000 divided by 50 into 10 to the power 6. So it comes out to be 20 megabyte per second. Okay. So it comes out to be, or you, you, you simply write it like this 20 into 10 power 6 uh, bytes PPS, bytes per second. Okay. That is your uh, transmission time. Sorry, bandwidth we have calculated. Transmission time was given to us as 50 microsecond. Okay, now next. Acknowledgement packets sent from B2A are very small and require negligible transmission time. The propagation delay over the link is 200 microseconds. So now they have given proper uh, 200 mi mi microsecond is propagation delay from sender to receiver also and from receiver to sender also. So now I can use that formula easily. Efficiency is what? N upon 1 plus 2A. Okay, so N is what? Number of packets which we want to send. So five packets are sent and uh, and uh, what is the a uh, uh, propagation time propagation time is 200 microsecond upon uh, transmission time transmission time is 50 microseconds so microsecond microsecond will be cancelled out so what will be our answer 5 upon 9 okay so efficiency 5 upon 9 so throughput will be uh, efficiency multiplied by bandwidth so efficiency is 5 upon 9 and bandwidth is coming to be 20 into 10 to the power 6 bytes per second okay so now we will try to find it out so what will be our answer 9 to the 18 okay and uh, 2 so 9 to the 18 so 5 uh, to the 10 11 point 1 1 I think so okay. B is our option you can check that out please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty and understanding this Yes, any doubt? No, no, no. Sir. Okay, so let me jump to the next slide. Yeah, this is gate 2006 question. What they are saying, station A uses 32 byte packet to transmit messages to station B using sliding window protocol. Station A is using 32 byte packet. Okay, so packet size is given to us as 32 bytes. Uh, station B using sliding window protocol. Okay, sliding window protocol is used. Now the round trip delay between A and B is 80 microseconds. So you might get confused. Here. Round trip time is 80 millisecond. So what is the TP? Round trip time means one bit go and one bit come. That is round trip, na? So TP will be 40 millisecond. Okay, so no need to worry. Round trip time 80 millisecond means TP is 40 millisecond. Okay, and the bottleneck bandwidth on the path between A and B is 128 kbps okay no no need to worry so uh, bandwidth is given to us as 128 into 10 to the power 3 bits per second small b they are given bits per second what is the optimal window size that you should choose what is optimal optimal means you can say maximum efficiency your efficiency is equal to 100 percent okay so what should be the optimal window size so optimal window size i think we already know 1 plus 2 is the answer 1 plus 2 into uh, uh, propagation time upon i think there is some disturbance outside uh, are you facing facing difficulty no sir no okay so voice is not coming na your voice is clear sir no disturbance okay okay. Ignorable, sir. okay there is negligible okay okay yeah so okay so 1 plus 2 into uh, transmission time upon propagation uh, propagation time what is the propagation time 40 upon uh, a uh, 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 transmission time so what will be the transmission time so we have to calculate that transmission time is message size upon bandwidth message size is 32 bytes so please try to consider it here 32 bytes means 32 into 8 bits divided by uh, uh, your uh, 128 kbps now so 128 into 10 to the power 3 so 2 power 5 into 2 power 3 divided by 2 power 7 okay into 10 power 3 so it comes out to be 2 millisecond. Okay, I think you have got it divided by 2. So it comes out to be 41. 41 is not the answer. So best answer is B. Okay, 40. Yes, please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty here. Yes, any doubt here? No, sir, no. Okay. Yeah, so now we are shifting to the next question. Okay, and uh, I suppose that is gate 2007 question. So what they are saying is distance between two stations M and N. M and N is L kilometer. Okay, distance is given to us as L kilometer. All frames are K bit long. 
so a packet size is given to us as k bits you have to remember this uh, the only problem is in uh, units you should know units properly the propagation delay per kilometer is t second see this that is a uh, difficult or you can say difficult it is not difficult they have just uh, slightly twisted the question so what is the propagation delay per kilometer is t second so tp per kilometer is t seconds okay so for l kilometer distance is l kilometer now, so for l kilometer tp will be l into t so tp will be equal to l into t any doubt so that is easy. okay now let r bits per second be the channel capacity okay so channel capacity is r bits per second or you can they have just twisted the question capacity here directly directly means r bits per second now so they are talking about bandwidth only bandwidth is r bits per second okay so you try to see the units you will get more clarity r bits per second is the channel capacity or that is the bandwidth okay actually capacity and bandwidth are different thing but they have represented like this so we have to take like this no need to worry now assuming that uh, processing delay is negligible okay the minimum number of bits for the sequence number field in the frame for maximum utilization when sliding window protocol is used is so minimum number of bits they are asking for sequence number so i think you already know we have told you log base to 1 plus 2a ceiling function is my answer uh, see this i have told you in the previous slides only mm, where was that yeah so number of bits hmm sequence number is this so minimum number of bits in header of the frame for sequence number log base to 1 plus 2a okay we have just solved this thing so 1 plus 2a okay so yeah so you just have to uh, fill this and get the answer so log base to 1 plus 2 into what is the propagation time l into t and what is the transmission time message size upon bandwidth so packet size is k and bandwidth is what r bits per second so uh, k upon r k upon r okay so r will go up now r is capital okay so r will go up so it comes out and ceiling function we have to take so log base to 1 plus 2 l t r upon k okay so the, yeah so uh, so they have not taken one so k plus k plus we will say like this k plus 2 l t r upon k k plus 2 l t r upon k c option is correct Yes, please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty. So, how can you uh, in place of one there? Where, uh, 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 okay, so I have written like this, na? 2 LTR upon K. So, I will take, I have taken LCM. K plus LTR upon K. Yeah, take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Done. So. okay so this is k 2009 question so frames of 1000 bits are this is important question okay if you understand this then uh, most of the things are clear frame of 1000 bits are sent over a 10 to the power 6 bps duplex link between two hosts duplex means full duplex so no need to worry full duplex half duplex they are, they are whatever they are saying you try, if you try to read the question you will get the sense of half duplex type of thing or simplex kind of thing okay so in the in the previous slide they have shown you that full duplex link and so on but what they were saying ex exactly they were saying data packets sent only from a to b so what is the use of use of full duplex here so they have just given you just to confuse you so that uh, because in in books and uh, everywhere and even i have told you that uh, stop and wait work for half duplex as well as uh, simplex okay and sliding window for sliding window protocol i have not tell you anything so since i have not tell you anything so you might get confused that uh, a half duplex or simplex might be there what is the full duplex and so on but no need to worry at all you will uh, you will be able to get the sense out of it so full duplex was just a dummy data here because they are what they are saying is sender uh, frames are sent only from a to b like that okay so for, for here also we will uh, try to find this kind of thing so let me see the question first so frames from uh, frames of 1000 bits are sent from so let me write it frame size is 1000 bits okay 
R sent over. So bandwidth is given to us as 10 to the power 6 BPS. Okay, full duplex link between two hosts. Okay, the propagation time is 20 millisecond, 25 millisecond. Propagation time is 25 millisecond. Frames are to be transmitted into the, into the link to maximally pack the link in transit. Okay, so maximally pack. And I have told you in the previous lecture only maximally pack does not mean efficiency 100%. Maximally pack means it should fill the frame time. It should fill the uh, you can say link properly. Maximally pack or channel filled or channel filled one and the same thing or channel filled one and the same thing. But they are not same as hundred percent efficiency. Hundred percent efficiency means one plus two a packet which it should be sent. Okay, so it is not same as one plus two a. Okay, I have told you properly in the previous lecture also. So frame size is 1000 bit, bandwidth is uh, 10 to the power 6 bits per second, propagation delay is uh, 25 millisecond and maximally pack the link. So what do you mean by maximally pack? Maximally pack means capacity you have to utilize 100% capacity. So capacity is what? Uh, bandwidth delay product. So bandwidth is 10 to the power 6 and delay is 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. So it comes out to be 25 into 10 to the power 3. Frame size is 10 to the power 3 only. So you will say 25 packets. So maximally pack means 25 packets. Okay. So 25 packets you can send at a time. That is the basic thing. No? So frames are to be transmitted to the link into maximally pack the transit. That means 25 packets you need to send at a time before receiving acknowledgement. Okay. Now let I be the minimum number of bits that will be required to represent the sequence number distinctly assuming no gap between uh, no gap uh, needs to be given between transmissions of two frames so that that is just a garbage data to you and because we are not assuming any gap between the frames because if you assume the gap then that will be a very mathematical question and they will not ask and get such kind of question so they just try to uh, uh, put a few lines just to confuse you see the length of the question this is very huge question Okay, many students will leave this question saying that this is very huge and we should not solve that and so on. But no, okay, we can solve it and it is very easy question. If you try to consider it, it is, it is very easy question. Okay, so maximally pack 25 uh, packets we can send. And what they are saying if uh, let i be the minimum number of bits. So what will be the value of i? I will be, I will be log base to 25 log base to 25 ceiling function. So it is just less than 32. So 32 5 bits. So we will say five is the answer. Okay, five bits. I think you already know, no? Twenty-five means what? Twenty-five. Uh, this is twenty-five. So uh, uh, double one, double zero, twelve, twelve. Uh, after twelve, we have one. That is twenty-five. So five bits. So five bits we have taken. So i value of i is five here. Okay, we have done this. Okay, now next, what they are saying? So uh, suppose that the sliding window protocol is used from sender window size is two power i. Okay, so window size, window size is two power i. That means two power five. That is thirty two. So thirty two frames can be sent before receiving acknowledgement. That is the basic thing they are saying. Okay, so the moment you read the line, you try to solve. That is the basic way. Line by line, you read and try to solve. If you read the entire question, you will get confused. You will not be able to answer this question. Line by line, you read and according to the data given, try to solve the things. Next, what they are saying, where i is the number of bits I mentioned in the earlier, I have to, uh, this is the i. That is obvious. That's why I have written uh, very fastly. Okay. So, uh, as mentioned earlier, and the acknowledgements are always piggybacked. That is the beautiful point, what they are saying. Acknowledgements are always piggybacked. ACK piggybacked okay so after sending two power i frames what is the minimum time the sender will have to wait before start uh, starting transmission of the next frame identifying the uh, closest choice ignoring the frame processing time for frame processing time we have to ignore and what they are saying is what is the minimum time sender will have to wait before starting transmission of the next frame so waiting time we have to calculate okay how much time sender will have to wait okay so see this uh, the uh, the transmission time of one frame will be what transmission time i, I just want to find for how long how long uh, sender is busy okay so then from total i will subtract i will get idle time are you getting it so sender is busy sender is busy sending for, for the duration of sending 32 frames 
sender is busy sending 32 frames so how long it takes to send 32 frames so time needed to send 32 frames that will be 32 into transmission time of one frame that's why i was calculating transmission time of one frame so what is the transmission time message size upon bandwidth message size is 1000 uh, bits packet were there na hmm, i have written a uh, frame size is 1000 bits they have written here 1000 bits and 10 to the power 6 bits per second is the bandwidth bandwidth is 10 to the power 6 so it comes out to be 1 millisecond i think there is no confusion in anybody's mind that is very obvious uh, 1000 upon 10 to the power 6 that is 1 millisecond transmission time is 1 millisecond so 32 millisecond for 32 millisecond sender is busy sender is busy for 32 millisecond okay so now what they are saying they, they are saying for uh, what but they are not saying sender is busy they are saying sender has to wait what they are saying see this minimum time the sender will have to wait before starting transmission of the next frame so for 32 uh, millisecond it has to wait now see the total time see this sender and receiver sender has sent one frame so first frame will reach receiver at what time tt plus tp are you getting it tt plus tp time i have told you many times in tt plus tp time a first frame will reach the receiver so what is the tt one and what is the tp what is tp 25 so 25 plus 1 26 milliseconds so in 26 millisecond first frame will receive the uh, first frame will be received by receiver okay but uh, side by side other frames are also coming okay but no need to worry the moment receiver has received first frame it will send its acknowledgement but see this properly what they have said acknowledgements are always piggyback piggyback means receiver will also send one frame and with that frame it will send the acknowledgement so what will be the frame size 1000 bits so again it it is so now it it uh, it is sending th this frame now so acknowledgement size is negligible so directly indirectly i want to say that receiver is also sending one frame how much time it will take obviously when sender is taking is taking tt plus tp time receiver will also take this tt plus tp time so 26 plus 26 it comes out to be 52 millisecond so after 52 millisecond sender can send the next frame okay so it has sent uh, no doubt uh, 20 uh, how many frames 32 frames it has already sent okay but it cannot send 33rd frame why it cannot send 33rd frame because it has to wait for what it has to wait acknowledgement from the receiver and when acknowledgement will come from the receiver after 26 microseconds so 26 plus 26 that is 52 microseconds so total 52 microsecond is time is this total time is this 52 microsecond now in sorry 52 millisecond now in this total 52 millisecond how much time it has remained busy 32 millisecond so for uh, how much time it has remained idle 52 minus 32 it comes out to be 20 so for 20 millisecond has remained idle see is the answer please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty no doubt it was a very difficult question but if you are able to understand this question that means you are you will be able to solve any sliding window protocol question any doubt here no sir yes sir. okay so uh, uh, you you can consider this question as a bit difficult side just because its length is very uh, big okay and uh, we have to do many steps okay so uh, uh, here we have to solve many things uh, and since i was explaining you that's why i have taken say 10 to 15 minutes question was very important that's why i spent a lot of time but if you try to solve yourself you will take hardly mm -hmm. one or two minutes okay that is more than sufficient okay so that's it so now here we have completed our sliding window protocol topic okay so now uh, this was a theoretical concept sliding window protocol is a theoretical concept okay now we will try to see the its implementation how it is actually implemented so let me tell you that thing take snapshot i will jump to the next slide okay so next is uh, swp sliding window protocol implementation implementation so sliding window protocol is implemented in three protocols okay uh, two i have already told you what were those uh, the, go back and and selective repeat sr selective repeat go back and but if we try to think carefully sliding window protocol is already implemented in stop and wait also so i will tell you how this is implemented in stop and wait so i will simply say in in stop and wait what we were saying in stop and wait protocol sender and receiver sender will send only one frame receiver will acknowledge it 
sender will send only one frame receiver will acknowledge it like this you are doing so i can say like this so one two three four five let us suppose five frames sender wants to send and obviously receiver want to receive these five frames only okay so uh, sequence number if you try to remember in previous classes i have told you for stop and wait only one bit was only one bit overhead was required because it is sending only one frame and receiving for acknowledgement and sorry it is sending only one frame and waiting for acknowledgement so one by one you are sending frames only one bit overhead was sufficient for you so that means sequence number will be 0 1 0 1 0 1 and so on like this so i will write here 0 1 0 1 and 0 these are the frames okay so and here also 0 1 0 1 0 like this okay let me write it above so that we get more clarity 0 1 0 1 0 yeah so what exactly we are doing so sender will send only one frame and wait for acknowledgement so what we will say sender window size is also one and receiver window size is also one i have not talked about receiver window size size till now because we were discussing sliding window protocol and that was the theoretical concept now i am implementing it that's why i am telling you sender side as well as receiver side so in every protocol this is very important question what is the sender window size what is the receiver window size and so on so in stop and wait sender window size is only one receiver window size is also only one so i will say like this so sender window size is one like this here it is window and here also window okay so sender will send one frame frame number zero and it will wait for acknowledgement so what ack it will send so see if a receiver has received frame number zero so its window will slide one position to the right now so its its window will slide one position to the right like this so now what receiver want frame number one that's why it will send ack1 i have told you many times so whatever receiver wants that will be the ack number a1 now since sender has received a1 so this window will slide one position to the right why why one position to the right because it has received a1 that means what sender will assume that frame number zero has been received by receiver fit and fine that's why it will slide one position to the right now it will send frame number one okay and what receiver will send now it's now obvious uh, at receiver side window will slide one position to the right because it has received the frame properly okay since it has received the frame properly so window will slide one position to the right and it will be here okay so what it will send frame uh, ack zero the moment sender receives ack zero what it will say okay I will slide my window one position to the right because ACK zero means receiver has received frame number one properly. Please try to focus here. ACK zero means receiver has received frame number one properly. And now in receiver mind, it is frame number zero. That's why sender will say, okay, I have to send frame number zero. So its window will slide one position to the right. It will send frame number zero. And from here, receiver will send ACK one okay and so on i think you have got it okay that is the basic way which we are following in stop and wait okay so now i have to discuss few basic basic problems like what if frame is lost what if ack is lost no need to worry we will handle all these problems so take snapshot i will jump to the next slide done okay so what if frame is lost or what is ack is lost so let me answer this question frame lost no need to worry so like this we are sending one two three four five frames and receiver also wants to receive one two three four five five frames it want to receive sequence number will be zero one zero one zero and here also zero one zero one zero so it has sent frame number zero but frame number zero okay let us suppose it has received it properly so uh, and window was here frame number zero has been received so what we will say since frame number zero it has received window will slide one position to the right okay and it will send ack1 ack1 means now sender window will slide one position to the right uh, like this and it will send frame number oops what i have done here okay so okay so i got it oh, the problem was i have deleted this and one remain here it was not one it was the box okay so frame number zero and ack1 ack1 will come from this side 
Now since ACK1 will come from this side, initially window was here. So now window will come here. Okay, it will slide one position to the right. Now it has sent frame number one. Now assume frame number one is lost in the medium. No problem. If frame number one is lost in the medium, so timeout will occur. Okay. Uh, time uh, uh, sender will maintain timer na, for each and every frame. So if timer expire, that means timeout occurred. So it will send frame number one again. So after few of uh, after timeout, it will send frame number one again. So receiver will receive it and it will send ACK and so on. Everything will be fit and fine. Now assume if ACK is lost. So let me tell you that thing. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Okay, so next is ACK lost. No need to worry. See this again. I will say one, two, three. Let us take small number one, two, three, and one, two, three, three frames. Okay, zero, one, zero. Here, zero, one, zero. Counting from zero only. You have to remember this for counting from zero because zero is the smallest number. That's why zero, one, zero, and here is zero, one, zero. So, uh, window was here. So, it will send frame number zero. Now, uh, its window was here. So, since it has received frame number zero. So window will slide one position to the right like this and it will send ACK1. Assume ACK1 is lost in the medium. So here timeout will occur. Timeout will occur and it will send frame number 0 again. The moment it sends frame number 0, what receiver will say? Receiver will say I want to receive frame number 1 because my window was here. I want to receive frame number 1 but you are sending frame number 0. That means I will not accept it. It will simply reject the frame. Okay, and and receiver will come to know that okay, they have some common sense, or rather, it, it is not common sense, it is all programming kind of thing. So, we, we can make the program like if else, like if frame number zero comes, then you have to send this, 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 and so on, like that. Okay, so uh, I am assuming that uh, receiver will say that uh, since sender sent frame number zero, that means it might be the case that my acknowledgement has been lost, so it will send ACK1 again to the sender. And now obviously ACK1 will be received by sender. Then its window will slide one position to the right and everything will become normal. Yes. Please let me know if anybody is having any doubt here. Yes. Okay. So that was the case. So frame lost, ACK lost, everything we have covered. So, uh, so the basic summary. Okay. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Yes. Okay. So basic summary of stop and wait uh, in terms of uh, summary of stop and wait in terms of SWP sliding window protocol. So the basic question, question number one, sender window size, sender window size is only one. Question number two, receiver window size, receiver window size is only one. Okay. So uh, question number three, sequence number, sequence number, uh, sequence number is, uh, total number of sequence numbers are only two. Okay. Question number four, number of bits for sequence number. Number of bits for sequence number is uh, log base 2 to ceiling function and it comes out to be 1. Only 1 bit is required. Are you getting it? Awesome. Okay. So, and we, ha we have already studied only 1 bit overhead is required in the header. So, number of bits, they can ask question like this also. O an, uh, overhead uh, for one uh, or uh, number of bits in overhead. Uh, of each frame okay so each frame header overhead each frame header overhead as number of bits for sequence number so that will be only one bit overhead is required okay like this they can twist the question any way they want yeah now you can take snapshot so you have got the idea na? sequence number is two why sequence number is two zero and one Two, two sequence numbers are there. Okay. Yes, sir. Ah, so you can take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. And now we are going to start go back N protocol. Stop and wait is over. We are going to start GBN. Go back N. Done. Okay. So that is also very important. Go back N protocol. Uh, go back N ARQ. What is ARQ? Automatic repeat request. We have told you in the previous lectures only. What is automatic repeat request? Whenever there is an error or something, so uh, sender, a receiver will silently discard the frame. Okay, that means it will not send negative acknowledgement, any kind of thing like that. That means they are very sensible person. Receiver will not say to sender that you are wrong, you are saying wrong. No, it will simply stop saying anything. It will stop saying. That means it, it will silently discard the frame. And 
then uh, sender side timer will expire and it will send the frame again that is the basic scenario so that's why we are calling it as ARQ or automatic repeat request okay so what is the basic uh, functionality of GBN go back and so go back and is saying that uh, let me write it in go back and in go back n size of the sender sliding window will be n size of sws sender sliding window will be n okay uh, so for example we have gb5 then size of the window will be 5 okay for example we have go back 5 then what you will say sws sender window size will be 5 okay so similarly if we have gb10 go back 10 then slend, sending window size will be 10 and so on okay i think you have got it so go back n wind, sliding sender window size will be n now sender window size is over what is the receiver window size so that is the basic way to learn new protocol so go back and we are studying in terms of sliding window protocol so first question should come to our mind what is the sender window size and what is the receiver window size similarly when i will start selective repeat or SR protocol that will be the next protocol first question should come to your mind what is the win sender window size and what is the receiver window size because they are just implementation of sliding window protocol okay so we have to see properly what is the window size and so on okay so next question coming to my mind is what should be the receiver window size RWS receiver window size receiver window size will be always one you have to remember this receiver window size will be always one okay so uh, that is gb5 for gb5 for gb5 it will be one for gb10 it will be one that and so on so gbn for go back n receiver window size will be only one i think you have got the point yeah so uh, please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty here otherwise i will jump to the next slide done then, sir. Okay. Yeah. So now I will uh, give you a small example. Like we will take example of GB3. Okay. GB3. And say, suppose we are taking sequence number as four. Four sequence numbers are there. So four sequence number means 0, 1, 2, 3. Then again, 0, 1, 2, 3. Then again, 0, 1, 2, 3. Dot, 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 dot. Like this. This is center side. And same will be the case for the receiver side. This will be the receiver side okay so since i have told you gb3 that means it will send three frames at a time and it will wait for wait for acknowledgement zero one two three now sender window size sender gb3 means sender window size will be three so it uh, three frames are there in the window so it will send all the frame and it will wait for acknowledgement so like i will say frame number zero frame number one frame number two you have sent all the three frames and you are waiting for acknowledgement now let us assume uh, uh, everything remains fit and fine and receiver window size will be what only one so window will be here are you getting it center side three and receiver side whatever may be the case say say gb30 gb50 whatever you take receiver window size will be only one so i have taken here one that means here only so now sender has sent these three frames let us suppose everything remain fit and fine that means every every frame comes like first zero come then one then two if f uh, frame number zero comes first then it will slide one position to the right okay now frame number one has been received so it will again slide one position to the right okay, one after another they are coming so frame number two has been received so it will slide one position to the right so now window is at here so i have told you in the previous classes also ack is sent for that frame which receiver wants now receiver want which frame frame number three so it will send ack three to the sender are you getting it so the yes. moment sender receives this ack three sender will come to know that every frame has been received by receiver fit and fine so it will slide the window three position to the right for so zero one two was there so now because ack three has been received that means what zero one two has been properly received by receiver if zero one two have been properly received so now window will be three zero one like this 
Now a very very important point is coming. Please try to focus here. ACK three. If no doubts, receiver has received three frames. But it has sent only one acknowledgement, and that is a cumulative acknowledgement. Cumulative means ikatti. For all these, it has sent only one acknowledgement. So it is very important point in GBN. Acknowledgements are always cumulative. In GBN, ACK are always cumulative. That means. One ACK for all the frames received. Okay. Whatever frames you have received, you will send only one ACK for all of them. Okay, that is the basic meaning. So uh, it's just wastage of resources, na? Like you received a, a frame number zero, you send ACK one. Then for frame number one, you send ACK two. For frame two, it you will send ACK three. Are you getting it? Na? Frame number zero received means what? Now it is uh, demanding for one. It will send ACK one. Okay, then it will receive two one. It will send ACK two. Okay, so that is clearly wastage of resources. So in place of sending uh, acknowledgement for each and every frame, it will send ACK for all the frames which it has it has received. So that's why we are calling it as ACK is always cumulative. Yes, any doubt here? No, sir. Yes. Okay, so ACK is cumulative. That is the basic point which you should remember. Okay. And the next important point is, see this. Uh, if I say it was the good case, now that means every frame received was in in order. Everything was fit and fine, and ACK three has been received. Now window is at here three zero one. Now which frames will be sent? Frame number three, frame number zero, frame number one. Like this, you will send. Now assume frame number zero arrives first. Frame number three has not been received, but frame number zero arrives first. What it what receiver will do? What do you think? Receiver window is at frame number three, so it want frame number three only. It will not accept frame number zero. No doubt, it want this frame in near future, but it cannot accept because window size is only one, and in his mind he want only frame number three, like that. Okay, and frame number zero has come, it will reject it. Okay, because it want frame number three only. Like you can think of it like uh, he is a very small baby, and in his brain chocolates are coming, so he wants chocolate only. Okay, if you give him something else, he will not take it. No doubt, he need that in near future, but no, he will not take it. He will say no, I want chocolate only. That's it. So in his brain, three is there, so he want three only. It will not accept zero or one. So, what do you mean by this thing? That means out of order delivery is rejected in GBN. These are very very important point. They they has been asking it many times, and these are the basic differences between your GBN and selective repeat, which I am going to tell you next. Selective repeat is your next protocol. So here, what is the basic point? Out of order delivery is rejected. Out of order delivery is rejected. That is a big disadvantage, na? No doubt, it needs them in near future, but it is not uh, taking that into account. Okay, so uh, out of order delivery is rejected. That is, if frame number zero arrives before frame number three, then it will be rejected, even though it needs them in near future. Okay, so should I write that point? That will waste our time, or you have understood that? Okay, okay. So, I, just for the sake of completion, I am repeating: if frame number zero arrives before frame number three, even then, receiver will reject the frame number zero because uh, because out of order delivery is rejected. Okay, no doubt, frame number zero is needed by receiver in near future, but it will reject it. That is the basic disadvantage of GBN. That means out of order delivery is rejected. Now, you assume, yeah, please come again. as it has only one window yeah yeah window size is one yeah that is mm. so it can receive only one frame yes, mm. and only five. that frame uh, on which window is there so it can receive only frame number 3 that's it okay it cannot receive any other frame yeah so now another point is coming to my mind what is that see this if i will say timer for frame number 3 expired If by chance timer for frame number three has been expired, what sender will assume that frame number three has not been received by receiver? Now, since out of order delivery is rejected, 
so what sender will think that since timer for frame number 3 has been expired so there is no question of 0 and 1 they will be definitely rejected by receiver because out of order delivery is rejected even though frame number 0 and 1 might arrive fit and fine at receiver but it will reject it considering it want only frame number 3 are you getting it so what do you, uh, so what i want to say is if timer for frame number 3 expired then obviously timer for 0 and 1 will definitely expire that is for sure because out of order delivery is rejected so directly and directly i want to say since there are three frames so you might think that timer for each and every frame should be maintained at at sender side but no timer is maintained for only leftmost frame in the window that is again beautiful difference between gbn and sr okay so in gbn timer is maintained only for leftmost frame in the window no need to maintain timer for all the frame after all why you will maintain timer for all the frame it is just wastage of resources because if timer for frame number three expired every every other frame in the window will be expired that is for sure okay so next important point is timer is maintained for only leftmost frame in window timer is maintained only for leftmost frame in the window because if timer expired for frame number 3 that is for sure timer for frame number 0 and 1 will be definitely expired because out of order delivery is rejected okay so i'm not writing the point just to save the time i think you have got clarity if you want then i can dictate the notes yes is there any need to dictate or is it okay understood sir okay okay then it's fine okay yeah so next important point is coming now see this so if timer expire for frame number three then obviously for zero and one it is it has been expired so what do you think that since window is at three zero one so frame number three zero and one all have been sent but now timer expire for leftmost frame in the window because i have told you uh, that will be frame number three if timer for this frame expire then sender will go back and position to the left and start sending the frames again that means it will send again 301 that's why we call it as gbn or go back n why we are calling it as go back n because after sending n frames if timer expire for the first frame in the window then it will uh, go back and position to the left and resend all the frames again that's why we call it as go back n so let me write that point take snapshot i will jump to the next slide so what i will say one two three dot 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 up to n so these are the frame in the window sender window now if a timer for frame number one expired timer for one expired then sender will go n positions left and resend all the frames okay hence we call this protocol as gbn go back n okay we have to go n position back and resend the frame resend the frame okay yes, hmm. yeah so take snapshot i will jump to the next slide yes, okay so now another important point see this so for example i say window size is 3 1 2 and 3 these were the frame gp3 i am using okay so 1 2 3 these were the three frames in the window and sender has sent these three frames like frame number 1 frame number 2 frame number 3 so what i have told you uh, if they arrive fit and fine like uh, initially window will be at 1 one two three and say we have four here okay yeah so i will say frame number one was in his mind receiver side frame number one was in his mind so it has received the frame number one so window will slide one position to the 
right okay so here it will be like this now i will say two has been accepted properly so window will slide one position to the right at three three has been received properly so window will slide one position to the right to the four now receiver will say window size since gb3 was used and i have received three frames so i will send one acknowledgement for all the frames and that will be ack4 because now four is in his mind are you getting it since three frame has been received so it will send four okay yes. yeah so th that is for sure and i have told you this is known as cumulative acknowledgement yes, cumulative ack that means ACK for all the frames, which it has received successfully. Now question arises. Let us suppose we have one, two, three in the window. We are using GB3 only, but this three has not come from network layer because network layer is providing the uh, data grams and data link layer is adding header and trailer to make the frame. So I am assuming that these, uh, these, uh, these are coming, data grams are coming from the network layer. So network layer has not supplied this three. Okay, network layer has not supplied this three. Now what will happen? Obviously, sender will send only frame number one and frame number two. Now in receiver mind, one was there and two and three and four like this. So now one has been received successfully. So window will slide one position to the right. At uh, two, two has received successfully window will slide one position to the right at three so now receiver will keep on waiting for three it will say gb3 is used so i have to receive three frames and now only then i will send the acknowledgement it will think like that now logical thinking is what gb3 is there so receiver will say since gb3 is used so i have to wait for three frames and only then i will send the cumulative acknowledgement for all the three frames but this frame number three has not come from the network layer now problem will start receiver will keep on waiting for frame number three and here uh, since uh, frame number three has not come from network layer so obviously center cannot send that frame number three because it has not received since it has not received then how it will send the frame number three so now receiver will not send ack since receiver will not send ack now problem arises that timeout will occur for frame number one no doubt frame number one and two were successfully received by receiver but you will send all of them again just because your timer expired so what do you think so receiver should send this ack3 now if receiver send this ack3 then everything will remain fit and fine there will be no timeout and no problem at all are you getting it so directly indirectly i want to concentrate here that receiver is not stiff it is not saying that gbn is used then i have to receive n frames and only then i will send the acknowledgement okay so basically what we will think i am writing in GBN, in GBN, cumulative acknowledgements are used. Cumulative ACK is used. That is, after receiving N frames, you might think that after receiving N frames, it will send ACK. No, I will write after receiving at most N frame. it will send uh, cumulative ACK. Okay, it will send one ACK for all the frames. It will send one ACK for all frames received. Okay, so what is this at most? So I will answer this question now. So I so what is the logical reasoning here? I will say receiver should maintain ACK timer also. Sender has maintained timer for the first frame in the window. The receiver should maintain ACK timer. And the moment ACK timer expire, receiver will send ACK for all the frames which it has received. Like this I will say. So sender and receiver. So at the moment receiver has received first frame, say frame number one, it will start ACK timer. Now frame number two has been received. But frame number three has not been received in ACK timer. So when 
AC ke timer expire, it will say okay. Frame number one and two I have received, so I will send AC K three immediately. I will not wait for the other frames to come into the picture. Then I will send no. It will not do like that. Okay. So obviously, frame number one timeout will be say like this. Okay. So timeout timer will be obviously larger than AC K timer. If timeout timer is less than ACK timer, then timeout will occur first and frame will be sent again. What is the use of ACK timer then? Okay. So another beautiful, uh, you can say observation. Timeout timer will be more than ACK timer. Please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty in understanding this concept. No, no, sir. Understanding it, sir. So now, okay. mm -hmm. as it is acknowledging for the three, Mm -hmm. It is acknowledged for only, only two frames. Only two frames. One and two. ACK three yeah. means now it wants frame number three. Yeah, yeah, sir. That's what. Now mm -hmm. as we are using the GV three window, so this uh -huh. is this is going to be a sliding window now. It will take uh, three, four, five next percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, yes, it will take three, four, five. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. That's mm -hmm. what I want. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so next, uh, take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Topic, hmm. So, next is efficiency of GBN. Okay, so now I think uh, you have got what exactly GBN is. So, now we will start efficiency. Efficiency of GBN. That is very simple. You will immediately get it. Efficiency is what? Actual window size upon maximum maximum window size? Actual window size upon maximum window size. What is the actual window size? N. GBN is N. Upon maximum window size is 1 plus 2A. So efficiency will be N upon 1 plus 2A. Now, uh, I'm, again and again, I'm repeating, assuming uh, propagation time for sender for and as well as for receiver is same and that is TP, okay, and so on, everything is same. Acknowledgement size is negligible. All these assumptions are made. Only then I have calculated this formula. Okay. So, for example, uh, they can say like this. Mm, uh, if they say transmission time is, say, one second, propagation time is, say, four second. And they will say GB3 is used and find the efficiency. So what will be the efficiency? Efficiency GB3, na? so 3 frames we will send. And maximum how much you can send? 1 upon 1 plus 2A. So 3 upon 1 plus 2 into A. A is what? Uh, propagation time upon transmission time. That is 1. So 3 upon 9, that is 1 by 3, that is 33.3%. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. Yeah, so take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Done? Done. Yeah. Okay. So another very, very important question is coming. This question I have been asking it many times. I am saying if header allows, if header of frame allows n bit overhead okay let me take a take it as m okay because gbn na, it will create problem m bit overhead if header of frame allow m bit overhead for sequence number okay, for sequence number then what is the maximum value of n what is maximum value of n in GBN? That is the question. Okay. So if header of frame allowed, m bit overhead for sequence number, what is the maximum value of n in GBN? So forget about GBN. If we talk about sliding window protocol, what will be the maximum value? Maximum value will be 2 power m. So simple. I have told you. So uh, exactly what was that minimum of? Maximum window size was what? Minimum of uh, your 1 plus 2a and 2 power m. I have proved you properly. Okay. So, uh, I am not considering 1 plus 2a because they have not given anything in the question. So, I will say for sliding window protocol, it will be 2 power m. Now, if I take 2 power m for GBN also, that means n value to be 2 power m, what will be the problem? I will tell you this thing. So, in case of GBN, if n comes out to be 2 power m, what will be the problem? 
so i will uh, take some example for example let m is equal to 2 that means 2 bit overhead are allowed m is equal to 2 means 2 bit overhead are allowed so 2 power 2 that means 4 so you will say window size sender window size will be 4 so let me take the 2 bit overhead means 0 1 2 3 and again wrap around 0 1 3 0 1 2 3 and so on so at receiver side also same scenario 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 like this so this is the sender side and this is the receiver side now since i have taken sender window size to be 4 i will take like this okay so now i will say assuming all the frames so uh, how many frames you are sending now you are sending frame number 0 1 2 3 now assuming all the uh, and uh, receiver window size is only one i have told you many times okay forget about everything receiver window size will be always only one but sender window size depends on overhead and so on okay so frame number 0 1 2 3 i am assuming all these frames are received by receiver in order properly in order so frame number 0 has been received window will slide one position to the right and it will be like this okay so frame number 0 received now frame number 1 has been received so window will slide one position to the right and it will go here okay it will create problem hmm. okay now frame number 2 has been received properly window will again slide one position to the right to 3 frame number 3 has been received properly so window will slide one position to the right to the frame number 0 so now what receiver will do it has received all the frames in order it's and what so i think it has missed the voice is cut no is it visible it is visible sir okay moving now okay so ack 0 will come from receiver now ACK0 will come from receiver and assume that it is lost in the medium. Now since uh, ACK0 has been lost in the medium, so what sender will say, uh, time, time out will occur for frame number 0. It will go back n positions and it will send all the frames again. It will send all these frames again. Okay, so let me copy that out. It will send all these frames again. Now what will be the problem frame number zero it will say in my mind also frame number zero was there it will receive so obviously duplicacy has occurred are you getting it frame number zero one two three it has received all of them in order now again same frames are coming actually these frames should come but now these frames are coming everything will be duplicated so that will create problem okay so that's how we will say that for go back n n should not be equal to 2 power m okay if it is equal to 2 power m then duplicacy will occur let me write that in gbn uh, okay and let me write it here only i will simply say n should be less than 2 power m because if n is equal to 2 power m then duplicacy will come into the picture okay so now if i take n to be equal to 2 power m minus 1 okay i am just uh, decreasing by 1 so for example m bit overhead is allowed m is 2 so sender window size in place of taking 4 i will take 3 so if m is equal to 2 that means i will take n to be equal to 2 power 2 minus 1 uh, that is equal to 3 so if i take 3 just one less then what will happen let me talk about this in the next slide take snapshot i will jump to the next slide okay so now what i will say uh, what will be our answer now so 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 now in place of taking 4 i will take 3 if i take 3 like this and here 0 1 Two, three, zero, one, two, three, dot, dot, dot. So now what it will send frame number 0, frame number 1, frame number 2. Okay. So in, uh, at receiver side, uh, it was at 0 first. So frame number 0 arrived fit and fine. So now window will slide one position to the right. 
frame number one arrive fit and fine it will send one position to the right frame number two arrive fit and fine it will send one position to the right it will be at frame number three now what it will send ack3 now if ack3 is lost in the medium what sender will do again since that a timeout will occur at for frame number zero it will send all the three frames again okay it will send all the three frames again now frame number zero when frame number zero come to the receiver side it will say no i want frame number three it will be rejected frame number one came it will say no i want frame number three it will be rejected frame number two came it will say no i want frame number three it will be rejected so no problem at all no duplicacy so there is no no problem what i will say so maximum window size maximum window size for gbn for gbn that will be equal to 2 power m minus 1 where m is the number of bit overhead allowed in the header yes. are you getting it okay so now you can take the snapshot so uh, and why i am taking uh, one less just because if i take okay. one less then at receiver side it will be at three and that will reject this thing yes. Okay, yeah, and one more beautiful relationship I am I am I will try to draw. Take snapshot, I will jump to the next slide. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, so what is the uh, you can say uh, if m bit overhead is allowed, if m bit overhead is allowed in header then total sequence number possible is 2 power m okay that is very obvious now total sequence number possible will be 2 power m that means uh, say if m is equal to 3 then total sequence number will be from 0 to 7 that is nothing but 8 so sequence number total available is 2 power m now out of so this is available sequence number so sender window size i have calculated 2 power m minus 1 that is the maximum value and receiver window size that is obviously always one so what i will say available sequence number should be greater than or equal to sender window size plus receiver window size that means 2 power m will be greater than or equal to 2 power m minus 1 plus 1 so same we have got it okay so this is very very important formula which you should remember and many questions have been asked in gate from this formula only so available sequence number will be sending sequence number plus receiving uh, sorry sender window size plus receiver window size available sequence number should be greater than or equal to that thing yes sir okay yeah so uh, so we can think like that for example if i say uh, say 3 bit overhead is allowed 3 bit overhead is allowed in header if 3 bit overhead is allowed, so uh, what can be our um, available sequence number? 2 power 3 that is 8. So I will say GB6 will be successful or not? I can answer this question. GB6 will be successful or not? I will say yes. Why? Because in GB6 sender window size will be 6 and receiver window size will be only 1. So 6 plus 1 that is 7. 8 is greater than or equal to 7. So yes gb6 will be successful similarly gb5 will be successful okay so gb6 is successful gb5 i think you have got it 5 plus 1 8 is greater than or equal to 5 plus 1 okay gb4 and so on everything is written fine what about gb7 gb7 yes 8 is greater than or equal to 7 plus 1 that is also okay gb8 no gb8 is not allowed why because 8 is greater than or equal to 8 plus 1 no this equation is not fulfilled so gb8 not allowed okay so if 3 bit overhead is allowed then gb5 is okay gb7 is okay but gb8 is not okay gb6 is okay you have got the point okay so just subtract one that is allowed so up to gb7 is allowed here 8 na so i will say up to gb7 is allowed okay just subtract one up to gb7 is allowed why subtracting one because receiver window size is one now that's why awesome. 
and this equation is valid for each and every protocol whether it is top and weight whether it is gbn or whether it is sr for every where this mathematical equation will work i am not going into the proof and all it will simply waste our time i have just given you the formula this is valid for each and every case for example in stop and weight so we have taken uh, only one bit overhead was there so available sequence number was what 2 power 1 that is 2 let me write it no problem take snapshot i will jump to the next slide in next slide i will explain take snapshot okay so in stop and wait what we were saying available sequence number so only one bit overhead was there stop and wait one bit overhead in header so what i will say uh, 2 power 1 available sequence number will be what uh, if 2 bit overhead then 2 power 2 3 bit overhead 2 power 3 so available sequence number is 2 power 1 that is 2 so available sequence number should be greater than equal to sender window size plus receiver window size in in stop and wait sender window size is also one receiver window size is also one so 1 plus 1 greater than equal to 2 yeah this is for sure true no problem okay and in fact i can simply say gb1 what is gb1 gb1 is nothing but your stop and wait any doubt yeah so now i will answer few more question take snapshot i will jump to the next slide okay so next question is for gbn what is the maximum number of sequence number needed so they will slightly twist the question we have got the concept now i will twist the question and try to answer those for gbn what is the minimum number of sequence number needed uh, for gbn what is minimum number of sequence number needed okay also find minimum number of bits okay and uh, uh, so next question number 2 also find minimum number of bits needed in header of each frame needed in header of each frame for sequence number okay so we have to answer these questions so for gbn what is the minimum number of sequence number needed so see so they will uh, ask meaningful questions only they will not ask any arbitrary question what they have said minimum number of sequence number they are not saying maximum number of sequence number maximum you can take 100 200 500 600 anything so for example gb3 gb3 will work if you have if you have sequence number 100 also if you have 200 also if you have 500 also everywhere it will work gb3 okay so they will ask minimum so that they uh, uh, they want to check whether you have good concepts or not and only then question will be meaningful only then question will have unique answer otherwise you can have infinite answers okay so for gbn minimum sequence number needed will be i think you have got it 10 plus 1 yes any doubt no sir okay why why it is n plus 1 because sender window size will be n that is for sure gbn sender window size is 1 uh, s uh, sorry sender window size is n and receiver window size is 1 and i have told you available sequence number should be greater than or equal to sender window size plus receiver window size that is n plus 1 so available sequence number should be greater than or equal to n plus 1 minimum they are asking so we will take n plus 1 okay, that is the proof that why uh, available sequence number should be n plus 1 okay also find minimum number of bits needed in header of each frame for sequence number minimum number of bits needed that is also easy minimum number of bits will be log base 2 and plus 1 ceiling function any doubt no sir okay so let me answer question uh, and another question take snapshot i will jump to the next slide done sir hmm So I'm just twisting the question. Concept is same only. I'm just twisting the question. Another question is: If unique sequence numbers are n, if unique sequence numbers are n, then find maximum size of sender and receiver window. Then find maximum size of sender and receiver window. for gbn okay for for go back and so uh, what i will say that is very simple so unique sequence number is n so available sequence number is 
n so available sequence number is greater than or equal to sender window size plus receiver window size receiver window size is always one forget about everything receiver window size is always an available sequence number is n that will be greater than or equal to sws plus this so sws will be less than or equal to n minus 1 so and see this what they are saying maximum size of sender and receiver window receiver window size is one for sure maximum sender window size will be c s plus will be less than or equal to n plus n minus 1 now so maximum sender window size will be n minus 1 only are you getting it so maximum sender window size is n minus 1 and receiver window size is 1 please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty Nice, sir. Okay. So, take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Done, sir. Okay. So, next question is, if header allows overhead of M bit. Okay. So, this is a gate question. So, yeah. I will take another slide. Yeah. If header allows on, uh, overhead of M bits. Header allows overhead of m bits find maximum window size find maximum sender window size and receiver window size again that's very similar and twisted question had allow overhead of m bit so available sequence number will be what available sequence number will be 2 power m Okay, and now what they are saying maximum sender window size and receiver. So available sequence number is greater than or equal to sender window size plus receiver window size. That is one always true. So 2 power m is greater than or equal to SWS plus 1. SWS will be less than or equal to 2 power m minus 1. So this is our answer. So SWS is 2 power m minus 1 and rws is 1. Yes. Please let me know if anybody is facing any difficulty here. Yes. Yeah. So you can take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide now. Okay. Okay. So this is gate uh, 2004 question. Let me put it. Yeah. So this is gate 2004 question. Yeah, what they are saying a 20 kbps satellite link has propagation delay of 400 millisecond okay so bandwidth is given to us as 20 kbps propagation delay is 400 millisecond the transmitter allows go back n arq scheme with n is equal to uh, with n set to 10 so directly indirectly what they are saying gb10 is used GB10 is used. Okay. Now next they are saying assuming that each frame is 100 byte long. Frame size is 100 byte. Now see this 20 kbps bits per second and they are saying 100 byte frame. So what you should say 800 bit frame. Okay. So immediately change the unit. You will get more clarity. Okay. So immediately change the unit. Yeah, so now uh, what they are saying is what is the maximum data rate possible? Okay, maximum data rate. What do you mean by maximum data rate? Throughput. Okay, bandwidth is the potential measure. Bandwidth is already given to us 20 kbps. But how much we are using that is the basic thing. So they are asking about throughput. So they will slightly twist the question. They will not say directly throughput and so on. They will say maximum data rate possible. Maximum data rate means throughput only and throughput formula is efficiency multiplied by bandwidth. So entirely uh, question boils down to the finding efficiency. And we know already how to find efficiency. We will simply put the formula and get the answer. So what is the efficiency? What is the efficiency? Actual window size upon One. actual window size upon maximum window size. Actual window size. Actual window size is 10. 10 frames we are sending. Maximum window size. So maximum we have to calculate. That is 1 plus 2a. Try to find it out. 1 plus 2 into propagation time is given to us as 400 millisecond. 
transmission time message size upon bandwidth what is the message size 800 bits okay and uh, bandwidth 20 kbps so into 20 into 10 power 3 yes is it okay now yes sir. so what will be our answer uh it will be two this no i think uh, there is some okay 400 millisecond was there now yes 400 millisecond so uh millisecond so into 10 power minus 3 we have to do okay units we have to match now 400 millisecond was there and this is per second now kilobit per second so we have taken 20 to 10 power 3 and it was 400 milliseconds so 10 power minus 3 so this will be cancelled out 1 plus 20 that is 21 so 10 mm -hmm. upon 20 okay i think there should be no doubt in anybody's mind so efficiency is coming to be 10 upon 21 so what is the throughput throughput is 10 upon 21 into 20 kbps is given to us okay so it comes out to be approximately 10 kbps now approximately 10 kbps so b is the correct option so how did uh, this 20 k uh, we, we took some 10 10 by, uh, 10 by 21 yes. is what we get uh -huh. with the efficiency and the bandwidth is 20 yes sir. So throughput is efficiency into bandwidth. Huh? Let me write it. Yes, efficiency into bandwidth. Efficiency is this. Bandwidth is this. Okay. And try to follow the units. So 20 kbps. That's why I have written here kbps. Okay. And here 400, 400 millisecond was there. So I forgot to write for millisecond. We have to convert it into second. That is 10 power minus 3. And here uh, 20 kbps was there. So 20 to 10 power 3 bits per second was there. And here we have milliseconds. So we have to convert millisecond into second. That's why we have done it. Yeah. So 10 is the answer. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next question. So 10 by 21 into 20 we have done also. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 by 20 to 21. Yes. How is 20? 10 answer? So? This 10? No, no, no. Ah, so rounded? Yeah, yeah, we have rounded it. Ten upon twenty, we have taken approximately. All right, sir. All right, sir. So ten upon twenty-one into twenty, approximately. So you can see the options also. There is no option with points. Yes, so we right, have yes. to take uh, B option only. Hmm. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. So this was very simple question and very easy. Okay, and the next question might be slightly twisted. Done. Next is gate 2008 question. This is a twisted just, question. Just, just a moment, sir. Just okay. The previous slide. Should I jump to the previous slide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for a moment. Hmm. Sir. Okay, gate 2008 question. So what they are saying? A 1 Mbps satellite link connects two ground stations. The altitude of satellite is 36,504 kilometers. So please try to make figure by yourself. Okay. What they are saying is one Mbps satellite link connect to ground station. So how they are connected station and station two, they are connected via this satellite. Are you getting it? They are connected via this satellite. So how they are connected, uh, how station one station two will communicate. Can you communicate directly? No. They will communicate via satellite. So station 1 will send data to the satellite. And this satellite will send data to the station 2. Like this they have to do. Okay. Yeah. So now what they are saying. Altitude of satellite is 36,504 kilometer. And speed of the signal is this. So distance is 36,504 into 10 to the power 3. Why I have done 10 to the power 3? So that we get meter. Because here speed is in meter per second. Okay, so that's why we have multiple units. We have to remember uh, distance speed is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Okay, what should be the packet size for channel utilization of 25% efficiency? We want 25% for a satellite link using go back 127. So GB 127 is used. That means sender window size will be 127. That means 127 packet can be sent by sender before receiving acknowledgement. Okay. Uh, uh, 127, go back 27, sliding window protocol. 
ओके एज्यूमिंग दैट एक्नोलेजमेंट पैकेट आर नेग्लिजिबल इन साइज दैट Uh, there are no errors during communication okay and there is no error during communication so what is the twist here so the basic twist here is to send data from s1 to s2 what do you need tp time for here first bit and then tp time again for the first bit so two tp time you have to consider yes sir okay so and, and similarly transmission time also two times so uh, from here to here transmission time and then from here to here also we have to consider transmission time that is the basic difference um, in the previous questions and this question okay yeah so what will be our basic scenario now so what i will say hmm so the distance is 36504 and uh, uh, speed is this efficiency is 25% and gb10 yeah sender window size is 127 yeah so 127 frames will be sent before receiving acknowledgement so what should be done now so now you can imagine see satellite has received and it will send it so yeah actually i have told you that we have to consider tt time two times two times but no we have to consider tt time two times when they say there is a delay in satellite there is no delay in satellite it will simply receive and it will simply transmit uh, i think they have not said anything about this na assume that acknowledgement packets are negligible side and there are no error during transmission yeah so they have not said about a, a processing time of satellite if they say about processing time of satellite try to remember uh, when i was talking about delay total delay type of question we have told you a very big question i have solved with key gate question sender router and receiver so there was processing time of router that's why from here to here i have taken tp plus tt and then from here to here also i have taken tp plus tt now if processing time is not given for here then what i will say i will simply say from here to here tp from here to here tp so now we have just established a pipe there is a pipe between sender and receiver because it has no processing delay so transmission time will be considered only one time so here tt will be considered only one time so when we have to consider tt one time when there is no processing time or something like that if some processing time is given then we have to take transmission time also two times any doubt no sir okay so transmission time we have to consider only one time because there is no processing time for satellite so you can consider this is a pipe so you are consider sending data like this so only difference will be 2 tp we, we have to uh, uh, we have to spend 2 tp time for the first bit but for rest other bit they will keep on coming one after another depending upon the bandwidth a uh, bandwidth is 1 mbps so in one microsecond each uh, sender will send one bit on through the media and uh, receiver will receive uh, one bit in one microsecond only the basic difference will be two tp time we have to spend for one bit or for first bit we have to send two tp for rest other bit one one microsecond that's it okay so if they have given satellite uh, processing time also then we have to consider transmission time one more time but we will not consider transmission time one more time we will consider only one time okay so no need to consider transmission time two time here because there is no nothing given for uh, uh processing time of satellite and so on okay so now we will try to answer this question so what will be our answer now uh see this mm. what is the efficiency efficiency is n upon 1 plus 2a for your uh, you can say mm, uh, gbn or go back and efficiency is n upon 1 plus 2a so what is n here 127 packets 1 plus 2a a now you have to consider tp upon tt na but now you have to consider 2 tp so 2 tp upon tt you will take are you getting it so 1 upon 2 into 2 tp plus tt why 2 tp because you have to spend 2 tp time okay from station 1 to station 2 first bit need 2 tp time okay that's why and acknowledgement sites are eligible so no need to worry about them okay so if if you want if you want me to do properly then i will say like this so so i will say what will be the uh, you can say total time so total time will be uh, 2 tp time for one bit and then for rest other bits you will take only uh, tt time 
so tt plus for acknowledgement also 2 tp time so that's why we are taking 4 tp time that's why here also 2 into 2 that is 4 tp time okay so anyhow you have got the point okay now so now i can solve it so now i think i should leave this as a homework because it will need lot of calculation and i do not have calculator here rather i can see from mobile but it will waste our time so you can do calculations yourself so uh, tp time is given to us as what was the tp time no tp time is also not given so tp will be distance upon speed so you divide this by this you will get tp time okay and tt time masses size upon bandwidth so what is the masses size but they are saying packet size what should be the packet size okay they want to ask packet size so you can calculate packet size masses size upon bandwidth and efficiency is given to us 25% that is 1 by 4 Yes, if everybody is comfortable, then I can leave it. Otherwise, I will do all the calculations. Please let me know. We'll try, sir. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So it is very simple. You can easily do it. So uh, okay. Uh, uh, I think I can do one more help. What will be the TP time? So you can say three six five zero four into ten to the power three divided by. T into ten to the power eight. Okay, three six five zero four into ten to the power three divided by three into ten to the power eight. So it is your uh, um, uh, TP time and divided by TT time. So what will be the TT time? TT time will be masses size upon bandwidth. So bandwidth will be multiplied here. So what will be the bandwidth? Ten to the power six bits per second. Okay, yeah, and this entire thing is coming to be one by four. One by four is equal to this thing. So now you try to solve it, you will get the answer. Okay, so one plus two into this, this, this. I think you everybody can solve this. Try to solve and get the answer. Yes. Now you, the only thing left is calculatory part. So you can do it. Yeah. So take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide, and I will try to solve just one more question. That so is eight. Right, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry for that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So I will solve just one more question. This is gate two thousand six question. And after this, our GBN will be over. Okay. Okay. So oh no, we have few more questions. So, so yes, we have few more questions. Don't worry. Okay, we we will solve them. So, gate two thousand six question. But they are saying station A need to send message consisting of nine packets to station B using sliding window protocol. Window size is three, and go back and strategy for error control is used. Okay, so GBN is used directly. Directly, they want to say GBN is used where N is three. So they want to say GB three is used. GB three is used. Okay. Yeah. All packets are ready and immediately available for transmission. If every fifth packet that A transmit get lost, but no acknowledgement uh, from B ever get lost, they are saying that no acknowledgement is lost. Okay. But because you may might consider that acknowledgement from uh, acknowledgements are also lost, but no, they are not lost. Only packets are lost. So they are just considering hypothetical scenario. And what they are saying, every fifth packet from A is lost. Okay. Then what is the number of packet that A will transmit? uh for sending the message to b so what are the total uh, packets they want to send nine and every fifth packet is lost and gb3 is used so what i will say 1 2 3 4 5 this packet is lost every fifth packet is lost now so now since it is lost so you have to consider that your window was here only 5 6 and 7 leftmost frame in the window is lost always You cannot say middle frame in the window is lost or or last frame in the window is lost because timer is maintained only for the first frame in the window. So you cannot say that six and seven or something like that is lost. Whatever will be lost will be frame number five because timer is maintained from only frame frame number five. So But that's why this is no, yeah. Sir. Please come again. But it is GB three no sir. One two three will be the uh, in the first window first time. Yeah yeah yeah. And so okay, I have skipped that part. Okay, I will say like this. One two three. Four, five. So I will say one, two, three. They are completely sent and received. Also, no need to worry. Their acknowledgement has come. Now we will slide the window. Four, five, six. Four has been received, but uh, five and six have not been received. 
okay so uh, how how you will check that out so uh, for that you have received ack5 you have received ack5 means uh, four has been received fit and fine so now window will slide only one position okay i'm not going to de these detail for such type of question you should remember the working rule but you should say window will be on the left most frame in the window okay Win uh, window will be on the left most frame and that frame will be lost so frame number 5 will be lost in this scenario okay that's why i have written it so forget about this you just consider this 5 has been lost so now since 5 has been lost it will go back and position and uh, send the frame again so what you will send again 5 6 and 7 so now you will say now counting start from here 1 2 3 4 and 5 again this will be lost so 7 8 9 here we will be the, have with the window and this 7 has been lost so now you will send entire window again so 8 9 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 this again this frame will be lost so you have to send this again so how many frames you want to send only 9 packet you want to send so total how many packet we have sent you can count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so 16 frame you have to send so c is the option okay don't worry i will solve one more question no, so that you get more clarity yeah okay no no problem i will solve just one more question so i will just uh, take uh, some different figures so i will say in place of nine packets sender want to send 10 packets okay and every fifth packet lost same i am taking and let us suppose i take gb4 now i am taking gb4 now so how we will do i will simply say fifth packet is lost now so you you try to draw like this one two three four five so you will say now for now five will be lost so gb4 is used so five six seven and eight these four packets will be there in the window this fifth packet is lost so fifth packet lost means uh, these all are lost so you will send them again five six seven and eight so fifth packet now one two three four and five so this sixth will be lost again six seven eight and nine these have been sent so uh, this packet has been lost so now you will send all the packets again seven eight nine uh, ten ten packets were there now okay sorry for that uh, uh, you will send all this packet again uh, six seven eight and nine so one two three four five this packet has been lost so seven eight nine okay and then ten will be there like this so i will say this seven has been lost in the medium so i will say again i will send seven eight nine okay the one two three four five yeah so this will be lost eight nine ten so there are no more packets so do no need to worry now this is important that's why i have solved this question uh, so there are only three frames in the window i cannot have other frames okay no doubt gb4 was used but there are only three frames so i have to send only these frames no other frame is coming from the network layer so i will not wait infinitely for the frame number 11 to come into the picture and then four frames will be there and then i will send no it is not the case since there are three frames i will send them no problem okay so now uh, what i have to do uh, three frames are there so i will be obviously able to send them properly because every fifth frame every fifth packet is lost in the medium now yes so i think there is no problem one two three four and five yeah so eight nine ten okay so everything is fit and fine so if there is some mistake then we can clarify it six seven eight I, okay let me count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so 22 frames please check if there is some mistake anywhere so frame number 5 will be uh, you can say lost and then 6 7 8 and then 5 then 6 7 8 9 will be there so six will be lost in the medium then again six seven eight yeah i think it is perfectly fine so 22 frames will be sent 22 is our answer please check if uh, some mistake is there then i can correct it otherwise it's okay yeah so i hope it is uh, perfectly fit and fine
Yeah. Sir, I think I, I still have a confusion. I'll get this uh, dose clarified in the next class, sir. Okay, so here, uh, so if there is some doubt, we can check that out again. Yeah, please, uh, please say me if you have, uh, if there is some mistake here. I don't think so. Uh, I understood it, sir. Because see, when we, uh, when the fifth frame is lost, mm -hmm. uh, we accumulated uh, four frames in the next window. Yeah. And then when fifth frame is lost, so we will send uh, uh, fifth frame should be the leftmost frame in the window. So I will, because of GP4, I will accumulate four frames. Fifth is lost. Yes. Now you will start counting from here. One, two, three, four, and five. This will be lost again. Okay. Now since all these frames are lost, so I will send all these frame again. Nah? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so sixth frame is lost. So I will make this window here and uh, nine will come into the picture. And then when uh, sixth is lost, so I will send all of them again, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And uh, yeah, so seventh frame now for fifth frame, one, two, three, four, and fifth, fifth frame, this will be lost. So seven, eight, nine, ten will be there. So seven is lost. So I will say seven, eight, nine, and ten again. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and five. So this uh, eighth frame will be lost in the medium. So I will say. Uh, okay, yeah, so here I have forgot. Yes, so we have got the point. 8, 9, 10 was there. 8 is lost in the medium. So again, I have to send. Huh? Mm -hmm. 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so now see this. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yeah, this fifth frame will be lost in the medium. Mm -hmm. So now I have to send this 10th again. Now it's fine. Yeah, so I forgot to write here. Yeah, so now you can count how many frames? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are there. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So 26 frame you have to send. This is my answer. Yes. Okay. So I think uh, now everything is clear. So I think there should be no doubt in anybody's mind. You can take snapshot or something. So that's all for today. So in the next class, we will resume from here itself. Only one or two questions, gate questions are left out. We will solve that questions. And then we will jump to uh, uh, selective repeat, the last protocol. Okay, then. Yeah, so I hope everything is fine. So let's wind up the class here itself. So we will meet now at, I think, 8 p.m. in the night for discrete mathematics. Okay. Yeah. Okay.